Hello and welcome to this video. If you're new to this channel, I originally started this channel in order to teach people important things. And then I realized that financial literature is one of the most important things to teach. And now I make a lot more videos on finance. So do subscribe if you're new here. So in today's video, I kind of wanted to talk about YouTube in terms of the side hustle. Is it really as lucrative as they say? Is it really worth a side hustle? So currently I'm on around 1,000 to 600 subscribers and I've made over 200 videos. And since December, 16th last year I am monetized which means I do earn a share of the revenue from people watching the ads on my videos so I thought why not go through my top five most profitable videos on YouTube and just see how I got there what could be done to increase the revenue if you're looking at it as a side hustle and is YouTube really a viable side hustle for most people so this is my YouTube dashboard and as you can see my current subscriber stands at 1609 very nice so if I press the analytics tab and I change the date to 2022 because basically that's when I've been monetized I was monetized at the end of December for a few days but I'm not gonna count that and then I click the revenue tab and press see more I can now go to my top five most profitable videos and they're just color coded because the top five are usually just color coded so that you can see a graph of how much you've earned over that time period which is basically from the first of January to basically the end of July and as you can see these five videos are my top earned videos and like with everything the 80 20 rule applies as in the top 20 percent of your videos are going to be earning 80 percent of your revenue and this is true in my channel too I have loads of videos earning small amounts of money this only shows the top 50 results I have over two videos but you can see that some videos are making one pound two pound three pound my top five videos are performing much better than all the other ones combined essentially so what I wanted to do is to go into the analytics of every video and to see how I got earning that amount of money so we just press analytics here so this is my top performing video both in terms of the amount of revenue it's made and the amount of views it's got and the reason why it is so successful is probably because it's one of those videos that give people the value as in it's a complete guide into how you would go about renting in London and I've used lots of good keywords in this so if I go into details so I've used lots and lots of keywords as you can see I've included literally all the keywords I could find I've included hashtags and the description just contains so many keywords it's optimized for search engines as in these are the kind of stuff people will be typing into the search bar right move rent renting London how to rent how to rent an apartment all these things and even here within the tags I have so many tags that are actually ranking in search for example if someone types in how to rent in London I'm at the fifth search renting in London fifth search flats in UK for rent London is the fourth search and that's why I'm getting a lot of views because actually a lot of it is coming from YouTube search so in the past 48 hours 65.8 percent of the views have come from YouTube search the rest are basically from suggested videos so people who are watching other videos on how to rent to London my one will come up on the side and that recommends it and this is one of the best ways to see really high growth in YouTube is to get your video on suggested because that will really increase the view count so as you can see on the first day I got 29 views which was typical for the period but also when I published this video I did not notify any of my subscribers so at the time maybe I had like eight or 900 subscribers I didn't notify a single one because I don't usually do videos that are about renting in London however I decided to just do this because at the time I was trying to get monetized and I needed a lot of watch hours and I thought if I produced a video that was quite long so this is 16 minutes and 37 and it offered a lot of value then I can get my watch hours and sure enough I've gotten to date 1.2 thousand hours of watch time from this video because it was so engaging in terms of providing the value and keeping people interested so if we see the average view duration is 5 minutes and 30 seconds which is actually pretty high for YouTube the average percentage viewed has gone down and down so the more people that YouTube provides the video to the less average percentage viewed you get just because it reaches a wider and wider audience and it comes out the niche and people are less and less interested but still as you can see this video is still being recommended to people it's coming up in YouTube search so it really does depend on what kind of video it is but YouTube does look at the average percentage viewed and also the average duration as you can see they also provide graphs on how the retention is so 70% of the viewers are still watching around the 30 second mark which is typical so 70% in the first 30 seconds quite good so that's probably why it's been recommended a lot because the majority of people are not clicking off the video in the first 30 seconds so YouTube gives you so many metrics to work with which empowers you as a creator right so for example this video has made 141,000 impressions the thumbnail has been shown that many times the click through rate is actually pretty high which is probably why this video is doing quite well because an average click through rate is something around 5% anything higher than that and YouTube sees it as a signal that this video is doing well so 
they'll show it to more and more people. So as you can see, 141,000 impressions, 29.7 came from YouTube recommending my content. In the grand scheme of things, this is a very small amount of views that are coming from YouTube recommended. As you can see, the majority of my views are coming from YouTube search. And that's because I optimized it for search. I chose keywords that I knew are gonna be what people are actually searching for. So if you have a small channel and you're looking to make YouTube as a side hustle, I highly recommend not thinking it of a side hustle because YouTube is something that might never ever pay off and it's not really worth putting that much energy in unless you don't have the passion in the beginning at least. But if you are looking at YouTube as a potential to grow on, making videos for YouTube search can be a really good idea when you're starting out and you don't have many subscribers. So as you can see, I chose not to notify subscribers just because I didn't know how my subscribers would feel about it. And I knew the majority of the videos when I do not upload it to my subscribers will come from YouTube search, which means new people check out my videos. So the top YouTube search terms are renting in London, rent in London, London rent, how to rent in London, cheap accommodation in London. And there are many videos that are suggesting my videos coming from other content creators. For example, this one, if I quickly view on YouTube, this is coming from a content creator who has a lot more subscribers than me, for example. As you can see, thanks for the video. It has been recommended by one of my videos quite a bit and I actually reached out to these creators. So I actually do like going through YouTube analytics and actually find out new creators so that's pretty cool also there's an engagement tab which basically summarizes stuff it showed before so the watch time and the average view duration end screen element click rate this is something I have not focused on but a lot of content creators do focus on end screen elements as you can see it's a very low click-through rate for that but I don't really care at the moment if I click on audience it kind of shows me my returning viewers unique viewers subscribers and also top geography. So the majority of the views are coming from the UK, which makes sense, how to rent in London. Also a lot from India. And you'd be surprised by how many people from India actually are looking to rent in London because they come for studying or they come for temporarily. So I actually receive a lot of questions on my Instagram regarding people asking me questions about how it is like to rent in London. And a lot of them are from India. So it's pretty cool. One last thing I wanna show is my average revenue. So actually when I posted this video, 28th of October, I was not monetized. Began to be monetized on the 16th of December, as you can see. So there's a two day delay in getting paid. So by the 18th, I earned 5p. All these views were not monetized. So this video could have earned me a lot more money. And the last thing on this video is the revenue tab. So I've earned 45 pounds and 57 pence from this video. So I like to think of these videos as a digital asset. You put in the effort once and the rest is just passive income. I don't actively work to get these views and I earn a small amount of money when people watch it. In the long run, when my channel develops, I get more viewers this has the potential to earn even more money it's one of those things that it's an investment it can earn money over the long period of time so i just think that youtube is a great platform if you are willing to put in years and years and years and years of work in and maybe one day it'll pay off but right now of course you can see it's not a huge amount of money the rpm is a huge factor in determining how much you get paid. For example, this is one of my lowest RPM videos that have earned me so much. The fact that it's earned me the most is just through the sheer number of views. An RPM of 3.3 .3 is pretty much average for most channels and it's pretty good. So for every thousand monetized playbacks that you do get, you get £3.38 paid to you. So CPM is basically how much advertisers pay for those same adverts. Obviously YouTube takes a cut and then the RPM is what you get. Three is pretty much average and it does fluctuate quite a bit. So this is my second most profitable video and I will go into the analytics. As you can see, it's only had 577 views and it's generated me 37 pounds and 52 pence. So we'll go into the revenue tab quickly and see why it has generated me so much money for such little views. And that's because the RPM is 65 pound two pence. This is my highest RPM video. I have no real idea why it is so high for some reason. I don't know, maybe I talked about money. So topics like money, personal finance, investing, stocks, shares, and cryptocurrency and things like that have a very high RPM. The fact is because people watching those are more likely to buy things. They have a higher purchasing power. So if those adverts are presented to them, they're more likely to click on these adverts and actually make the purchases, which tells the advertiser that they should put in more money into those adverts because it is more successful. So a RPM of 65 pounds, two pence is incredibly high. The funny thing is the video I made about this I had earned £26.38 and the video was about how I earned £26.38 in my first month on YouTube monetized and this video's made more than that so that's pretty funny in my opinion, that's quite funny. If we go into reach and see the other statistics, so it's got 6.2 thousand impressions. So this video has actually died now, it doesn't really get any more views and as you can see by the graph, initially there was a burst, wow, 600 views in the first day? Oh, I don't know how that's possible. Okay, wow, what? That doesn't make any sense. Oh sorry, this is 
Okay, this is impressions, I'm so stupid. So, okay, that makes sense. So if you look at views, yeah, initially on the first day, 106, which is a lot actually, 106 views on this first day, because people are very interested when you talk about money. And then around 25th of April, it kind of plateaued and it's literally earned like 30 views since then. Anyway, impressions click-through rate overall is pretty high, 7.2. And if we look at how viewers found this video, so most of it was suggested, channel pages, which is basically traffic from your YouTube channel. So people going onto your YouTube channel, browse features is like, home screen elements, YouTube search, and external, so I put my videos on my Instagram and my Twitter so people click from that. Not much else to actually go through in this video, but yeah, the RPM is incredibly high. So my third most profitable video is the beginner's guide to investing, step-by-step -step invest engine, and I'll go into the analytics. So as you can see, this video has made 1,200 views and it's earned £33.98, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, it still gets views, so it's not a dead video. Most of the views from the past 48 hours have been from suggested videos, and YouTube search actually for this video has hasn't been the biggest one in the past 48 hours. If I look at reach, it has a 6.1% impression click-through rate and the majority of viewers have found it through either suggested videos or YouTube search. And if I go into my traffic source and see suggested videos, I can see there's other channels that have made videos about Invest Engine, and those videos are recommending mine. For example, this lovely chap here. I think I commented on the video as well, so keep up the great work. This video is recommending one of my videos. Uh, this is really good to see from someone with a small channel like mine that they're getting loads of views. And it just goes to show that when you do make a video like this, this was a step-by-step -step beginner's guide to investing. It has lots of value, and this value actually translates to people watching it, lots of watch time. I I don't get a lot of subscribers for some reason. I don't really mind. I don't really focus on the subscribers. If people want to subscribe, they can subscribe. But as you can see, loads of watch time, lots of views for a small channel like mine, and I'm really happy, lots of revenue. As you can see, the RPM is very high again, £28.63, which means that even with 1,000 views, I'm making around £30. Very cool, very good amount of money. Of course, if I want to make this a side hustle, I want to scale up, I will make more videos like this, and maybe look into promoting my videos somewhere, or just constantly produce more videos, and by producing more videos on a certain niche, which now I have kind of niched down into finance, it makes sure that YouTube recommends your videos next to more finance videos and the growth can be very fast after that. The reason why my subscriber count is relatively low to the amount of videos I've made is because my niche has up till now been all over the place. It used to be videos about vlogs, it used to be videos about PhD, videos about how to be happy, and people don't subscribe to things unless there is a clear niche because they don't know what to expect for the next video. So my fourth most profitable video is this one, how to rent in London. So we're going into analytics for this one. So this is another how to rent in London video, but just because the first one was doing so well, I thought, you know, people are searching, whenever they search how to rent in London, I come up. So why not become an authority on the subject and have more videos and my other videos will be suggesting this video, which will give it more views. And sure enough, this video has achieved quite a lot of views. So 2.1 thousand views, lots of watch time and the revenue is 30 pounds for only 2000 views, which is really good. And it's not a dead video again. In the past 48 hours, it's gotten 36 views and most of it does come from suggested videos and this is my other video that's suggesting this video if you look at reach it's gotten 23,000 impressions with 6.9 percent click-through rate the majority of the views come from suggested which like i said that was the whole plan all along i also chose not to notify subscribers so like i said when i was making my channel i had no clear niche and what i realized is when i do notify my subscribers i either lose subscribers or the video does really really bad but whenever i choose not to notify subscribers i get way more views which makes sense because a lot of the views are coming from suggested and YouTube search. And it just goes to show how YouTube subscribers are not the be all and end all for everything. Yes, companies look at your YouTube subscribers and they decide if they wanna sponsor you like that. But honestly, even with my low amount of subscribers, a lot of people have approached me to work with them just because they know my engagement is a lot higher than people with more subscribers, as in loads of comments and loads of views and lots of interactions. This video is a lot based on recommendations, so that's really good. Revenue wise, RPM is 14 pound 76, which is really high for this kind of niche because this is it's only about renting in London. I'm not sure why it's so high, but I'm not complaining at all. As you can see, you do earn money from YouTube Premium, but it's a very small amount. And the last video that I'm gonna go through, which is my fifth top earning video, one that I only published a couple of months ago, which is another video on how to rent in London, but this time it's Right Move user uses Zoopla for the first time. So we're going to analytics for that. So as you can see, it's only gotten 425 views, but it made me £22.57. And also it's not a dead video. So the majority of the views are coming from YouTube search and suggested videos. If I go to reach, it's got a 6.5% click-through rate. As you can see, the majority of the views are coming from YouTube search. And you can actually see that the people are searching renting in London, Zoopla, my name for some reason, flat 
hunting London, London rent. And this one I did notify the subscribers, but no one actually clicked on it. Thank you. <laughs> the videos that are being recommended for it are mostly my own, I think. So how to rent in London, beginner's guide to investing, the day in the life of UCO PhD. Yeah, these are all my videos. Wow. Okay. So if I go into audience, I just want to show you for this video that the majority of my views are people that are not subscribed to the channel. And this is very common for my channel. Most people aren't subscribed, which is fine because you don't actually have to subscribe because that is a personal choice you're making. Sometimes you're just on this video and you watch it once. So that's fine. You should subscribe to your channel if you want to see those videos again. And I hate telling people to subscribe. So I really don't want to do that. Revenue tab. This has a very high RPM again at £54.13. That's why it's made me... 22 pounds with only less than 500 views and yeah that has been my overview of my top five most profitable videos on youtube i think youtube is a great platform to grow on and has the potential to make you a lot of money but if you're doing it just for money you're gonna burn out incredibly quickly because the first 1000 subscribers is very very difficult to get and most people burn out after reaching monetization and once you do get monetization it is not a huge deal of money but then again channels do vary if you stick to one niche you're more likely to become an an authority on a certain keyword or a topic and right now I'm trying to make more videos on educating people on finance I don't want to be the typical finance person who gives a list of 10 side hustles I actually want to go through the side hustles that I go through are they profitable do they really work for the average person so do stay subscribed because one of my upcoming videos will be actually reacting to youtubers and their side hustle list and see how practical it actually is for the average person which most of them are not if you like this video please do press the the like button for the YouTube algorithm and as always thank you for watching